Gemex Brilliant Scope Viewer is a fabulous tool for selling diamonds with Gemex Report. The report provides the official documentation of the measurement and a very effective sales tool. However, there's nothing like seeing it for yourself. The viewer does exactly that. It shows you the life performance of the diamond that is reported on the report. The Gemex Brilliant Scope Viewer is a battery operated tool that allows you and your customer to see the diamond in the same lighting conditions in which it was measured. The viewer, just like the Brilliant Scope Analyzer that measures the light, consists of four main elements. The diamond holder, the sphere, the moving light ring, and the magnifying lens. The viewer comes with three different diamond holders. The loose diamond holder, the ring holder, and the two ring holder. The loose diamond holder can be used for diamond study rings also. The loose diamond holder can be used for single diamond or two diamonds side by side. The sphere covers the diamond and completes the lighting chamber. The hole in the sphere works in conjunction with the light ring to create the multiple lighting angles used to measure and see the light return. The moving light ring. In the Brilliant Scope, this is actually a fiber optic light ring. However, in the battery operated viewer, it is a ring in which 40 white light emitting diodes are mounted. The light ring moves up and down to create the multiple lighting angles. The magnifying lens is used for enhanced viewing. The viewer is battery operated and comes with an AC adapter. It needs to be plugged in each night to recharge the battery. The ring light comes on with motion, so moving the light ring or slightly tapping the unit should turn the light on. In about a minute and a half, the light will flicker for a couple of seconds and then turn off. If the light is constantly flickering, the unit needs to be recharged for a couple of hours. Now, let's see how to use the viewer with your customer. You place the diamond ring in the holder and place the holder into the viewer. You place the sphere over the diamond and then move the ring to turn on the light. It might take a slight sharp movement to turn the light on. You then move the ring to the top position and ask the customer to look into the viewer. The best position is for the customer to look into the light ring from directly overhead, no more than six inches or so over the top of the viewer. Their head will block all room light from interfering with the seeing the light performance. While the customer is looking into the viewer, you will move the light ring up and down slowly. For viewing the brilliance in the fire, it is best to keep the light ring in the top half of travel. This is where the Gemex report light view 3, 4, and 5 are captured. With a single diamond centered in the viewer, you should be able to actually see the same images that are on the Gemex report. While looking into the viewer, they will see flashes of bright white light or brilliance. They'll see flashes of bright color light or fire. And as you move the ring, they will see the scintillation or sparkle. You can use the optional magnifying lens to enlarge the image of the diamond. From our tests, about 50% of consumers like to use the lens and 50% don't like it. Therefore, allow the consumer to decide if they want it in or out. To many consumers, having nothing between them and the diamond builds their confidence that what they are seeing is real and not some trick of the eye or trick of technology. So I suggest starting with it out and allowing them to put it back in if they choose. After viewing the light performance, you can then move the light ring down close to the sphere and see the IdentiView image. This is best seen with the magnifying lens in. You move the light down so that no direct light is hitting the diamond. You need to have your head directly over the viewer to block any other light from entering the chamber. With this view and the report in hand, they'll be able to see that the diamond in the viewer is actually the diamond on the report. Building confidence that what you are telling them is truthful and not just some sales pitch.